Hey there, it is time for the playing portion of this week's Power Up, and I'm excited to have our guests share about what they are playing at the moment, video game wise, streaming, all that fun stuff. We've got Dante Basco on here as our wonderful guest, and it's uh, time to hand it straight over to you. What are you currently playing? I play one, I'm a gamer, but I really play one game religiously, and that's League of Legends. League of Legends, I'm a big mobile player. This game, I've... Uh, I've been playing for the last few years. You know, it, it all started. I hadn't played games in so many years, and then one of my one of my producing partners, Brett Claywell, we wanted to go in. We had a meeting to pitch some ideas to Riot Games. But mm-hmm. you have to understand before you go into Riot Games and pitch them any ideas about their games, you have to really know their game. So basically, we had to get it to rank level before we went in and pitched them some ideas, which so is you just crazy. Just gaming. Uh, yeah, but then I kind of fell in love with it during it, and so I mean, I've been playing. I mean, I just crawl. I just I've been having a horrible time in rank, but now I'm, I'm in bronze. I so I stream on Wednesdays and other ni- in late nights when I'm playing. Uh, in uh, it's a show we call it, Ro- you know, hashtag Road to Gold, maybe silver, maybe silver, <laughs> and it's just me, 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 try- me, and uh, one of my stream partners, Justin Maraconda. We're just trying to get to gold. We haven't gotten there in like three seasons. We're just kind of hustling to get the gold. And then on Wednesdays, we play with like 5v5 and custom games with uh, all the fans watching. Or, or some, we play flank, uh, flex rank. And But lately, I've also been playing uh, TFT, their team fight tactics, which is cool. It's auto, their auto chess, which I'm into. You guys I ever have, play League of Legends? I have so many questions for TFT because I recently started. So I've played League of Legends before. I'm not good at it. And I didn't, at the time, have, like, the hundreds of thousands of hours to sink into it to get good at it. Um, and I know that LOL is not a I'm game that not you take lightly. I love it. Yeah, it's not a game you take lightly, though. Like, it's probably going to be, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like League of Legends will probably be mostly miserable for at least the first 50 hours. Yeah, I'm probably 500 hours in right now. Whoa. Right? Whoa. Yeah, well, that's what you have to do. I mean, it's it, games like Dota and League of Legends, like any high-end competitive MOBA like that, you need to sink hundreds of hours into. You need to. You need friends to. Friends are like, ask me, like, you know, because I started gaming again and started playing this game again, and I'm trying to get my friends into it, right, that are, well, like, out of the, kind of like, we kind of got, you know, you, you play a lot of games, and then you kind of grow up, and you're like, I can't play video games anymore. You put your console away, and then you just don't play games for, like, 10 years. And no, then no, getting no. you back I, into I, it. I was at that fork in the road and I realized that the choice needed to be made and I didn't get the console. I did. I didn't never stopped. Are you a PlayStation <laughs> person, Xbox person? Nintendo? Grew up with uh, Nintendo and was very much a loyalist for the 64, but then moved into Xbox and always have had the Nintendo product, but then started PlayStation from three. But now I have all of them all the time. I and them. I actually gave up PC gaming to do. What? Console. Yeah. I did pick up, a, I mean, I have my PlayStation still, but. I don't use it that much, but I really fell in love with the Switch. Like the Switch came back and I travel so much. So it's like the Switch is yep. like, especially those, those international flights, the Switch is. What are you playing on that? Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I play, you know, I was playing uh, Zelda for a long time. And then I play like, well, I mean, I play all Nintendo games because it's just fun for me. Um, oh. Of course, I play Super Smash. Oh. Uh, what else? I don't know. I'm trying. I mean, everyone wants me to play Animal Crossing, but I can't. I can't do it yet. Not enough happens on it. I've, I've I had know. to put it to bed. I'm not big on open world games because I'm always like, "What am I doing?" I was like running around when led when the the latest Zelda came out, and I'm like streaming it. And I'm like, I need help, you guys, because I I don't know what I'm in doing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that play a little Fortnite. I went. I played the Fortnite Championships, and I had to like study up on that to play mm-hmm. in order to play at least decently well yeah Still, i'm not a great fps player i i, I kind of like mobile like that for, over. it's S- fps with a bit of minecraft like you've got to do builds in that as well yeah, like it's, it's so, survival it's survival steam. crafting plus a shooter yeah it's crazy i i got to hang out because you know the, the the championships last year were in new york and we played at, in queens where they played the u.s open right oh wow yeah. that's where we played and it was basically the 0.001 percent of players in the world and there's like a category where it's just like uh, a duo a duo where they did like a celebrity and um, and then a, a pro-ish player i was teamed up with tim the tat man who's like a big streamer and uh they're, they're pros on just like the streaming side but then they're so good they're all so good 
yeah. that were there like what am i doing i can't even like don't worry about building i'm like I, they're building so fast it got to the place where you know it's hunger games and they're like running around in the circle but with a circle got where only one person could stand in it and it's moving and the last two guys are building up and down on each other i was like yeah. this is <laughs> the most insane thing I ever saw. And then I'd be, you know, we're all staying in the same hotel in Times Square. And you'd see all these kids from around the world with their parents in the, in the elevators and stuff. And I would talk to the kids in the elevator, like, hey, man, where are you from? Uh, London. I'm like, so you're like the best player in London, huh? He's like 14. Uh, I, I don't know. Am I? I mean, you're here. Like, <laughs> you've got to be. It's like, well, how long you been training? His mom's like, yeah, I took him out of school two weeks to go to train. Because they're playing for millions of dollars. I mean, that's the thing. Like Dota, Dota really made prize pools just insane. And I remember reporting on a story like seven years ago, um, trying to convince mainstream Australia that gamers aren't basement kids, you know, that kind of stuff. And I was Mm. like, the Dota prize pool is more than first place at the tennis open right now. And they were like, yeah. Oh, and I was like, yeah, Yeah. like it's serious money. It's It's nuts. It's crazy. I I had a similar situation to you, Dante, that you had for the Fortnite thing where I was asked to like study up on and pair up with a pro and all that kind of stuff. But it was for Dota, which again, I was like, this is not a game you cram in two weeks. Like just like League of Legends, like this is a game you need to like get good at. So I did. I paired up with uh, Rotterdam, who's a pro StarCraft player, but he's still pretty good uh, when it comes to MOBAs. Uh, and we paired up and we made the thing happen and it was hilarious. But before we uh, wrap this segment of the show, I wanted to ask you, because I have been trying to get into team fight tactics. And you mentioned that you play League of Legends, but also TF2. Play it. Yeah. I've been trying to get into it on my phone. And I don't, yeah. I don't know that that's the best place to learn because sometimes, like, especially when the heroes are going around and you have to pick one, yeah. I can't tell which hero's which. I don't really know which items combine yet. I'm just trying to, like, well, yeah. collect a bunch well, on, of the same that, dude. Is it easier? On that part of the game, usually you're not going to get the champ you want anyway. Go for the oh. item. Go for okay. the power, like the strong item, but it's sword, you know, something with a lot of damage. It depends on what you need. Uh, it takes a little bit of time. And then, you know, it's just the synergies. It's kind of like, it's also a luck of the, the role that you get. That yeah. you, what, 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 it's all about a game of adaptability. Yeah. So mm-hmm. you got to adapt to what you get. What's a crazy trivia thing? So Jack DeSena, who plays Sokka, um, he recently got in Team Fight Tactics, right? Okay. And uh, he has been playing because he's grown up, but then also he, you know, he has a kid now. And he's like, but I'm going to get in Team Fight Tactics. So he started playing. <laughs> this dude is diamond. Diamond. No. Naka is diamond on team fight tactics. I'm like, you're killing me. I've I haven't sniffed diamond on any game. No. Ever. But what would you rather? Would, and I want to ask the chat this as well. Would you rather play a a little bit of a lot of games or play a lot of a little amount of games and be like the best at it, but you have to put in like you know your thousand plus hours what what how would you rather distribute your time yeah that's interesting it depends i i don't know for me it depends on just your personality and what you're like when friends of mine that come and ask me like why are you playing league of legends like what is league of legends right and i tell my buddies that i this this is my pitch to them to like play the game i go this is league of legends it's, it's dungeons and dragons meets basketball every game is like a 5v5 basketball game pick up like in the park but instead of being just a basketball player you know there's different character roles like the point guards and the center and the shooting guard but it's like a range players you know support tank you got to figure out what you want to play and then we go in and we play and it's just like we're at the park playing basketball against everyone in the country or the world or north america whatever server we're on and so we want to get a squad that's so gangster that we can go into any park and smash anybody but you know, they're like, it's not a sport. I'm like, it is a sport. You don't know it's a sport once you start playing and someone starts out playing you. You're like, oh, because we all start at the same exact place. There's no, there's mm-hmm. nothing like just because he's been playing for five years, he's like has all these other abilities when we start the game. When we start the game, we're all at the same place. And it's how you build and how you can outmaneuver, outplay each other. And do they look at me D- like, wow. D- what? Do you play D&D? I do. I mean, I got back into D&D. I played, a, I played with a, you know, with Maker Studios, I played a campaign, played a campaign with uh, Rooster Teeth. So I'm into D&D. I kind of, I wanted to go back and do another campaign. I've, 
I don't know. I, I like the games. I, I've learned, you know, the more you play it again, you learn oh, yeah. all the fun stuff about role playing and everything. Your cell was so good for this game that I think I'm going to have to download this game. Damn it. You Wait, you're going to you play League play. of Legends? I know. I got sidetracked to play Smite. I got really into okay. Smite and that was like around. Smite is League of, yeah, Smite no. is League of Legends. It's just like Smite's the FPS League of, League of Legends. You yes. Know, like, I you like my... to play like more of the God you know, the Exactly. Stuff. And I had my ass handed to me by kids all the time where oh, I was yeah. like, this isn't even fun anymore. I don't even like this. What you do when you stream, you just get with a good player to play with you, play like bot lane because you can play together. And they just tell you what to do while you're doing it as you're learning. You know yeah. who's a really good League of Legends player if you want to team up with somebody, Mod? Yep. I don't know how well you know Jessica Negri, but Jessica Negri is actually the person who originally sold me on League of Legends. Yeah, no. um, oh, that's she, sick. she is someone who has played like Really, thousands of hours of League. I want to get together. I'm gonna. I want to put together maybe for charity, but I'm gonna do like a little celebrity League of Legends tournament bracket where we all can team up and get our own squads and go in and play a weekend and just fun for fun. You know, have on all our Twitch channels and raise some money for charity. That'd be funny. Uh, and just get down. You know, I'm down. I love yeah. that. All right, I gotta get. I gotta get practicing. That's it. All right, we're, we're making it happen. It's, it's, uh, it's time to bring Amy, though, in because it is the Bombs Away Q&A section where we are getting questions from you via Patreon if you're a bomber backup or if you're in the chat watching live right now. Hi, Amy. Thank you so much. Great to see your face joining us for Power Up. Hi. Yes, thank you. So nice to be here. Also, thank you, Speed Demon, for these. I love them so much. Hey. Put your head down a bit. There it is. There you are. Hello. My <laughs> iPad's just like... Hi, I'm Seth. Um, oh, there is a freaking Okay, hello. Okay, <laughs> so this question is from Patreon, patreon.com slash geekbomb. This one's from James Smith. What was your favorite character out of all the roles you played? Good question. I mean, it's hard to say what your favorite characters are because as actors, it's like you kind of go through your life and you play these characters and they just kind of like represent you know, aspects of your life. Like, what's your favorite part of your life? I mean, Rufy, of course, is an amazing character. You work with some of the greatest people in the industry. And uh, But I was 15, and it was like that movie to me when I look back. When I look back at movies and things I've done in my past, it's kind of like going back and looking at a picture book. And you see all the, you know, who you were at that time and your friends during that time and the ones you owe, owe, owe phone calls to and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I mean, Zuko, I got to say Zuko because I played it for so many years and just his redemption arc is so amazing. What you can do with a character over, you know, we did it over like four or five years. Um, it's really beautiful to see that 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 character in that story. So as far as his character and stuff, I, I got to go with Zuko. So I, I did a binge battle with Rotten Tomatoes where I was up against someone else covering all things Avatar. And really? they obviously asked her topics first, but one of them was like, who has the best character arc? And she said Zuko, hands down, because he's got the best character arc in the whole show. And I had to try and select someone else and then argue against Zuko. And the whole time I'm just making, I'm like, that's a, what you've just said was a really great part. Like, People yeah. People come to me, they write me all the time, like Prince Zuko's the best character arc in the history of movies and television. I'm like, Huh? Uh, what? <laughs> I was like, I didn't write it, but thank you. I had to try and debunk it somehow because I was fighting for Aang. I was like, it's called Avatar The Last Airbender. It's about yeah, Aang is great too. <laughs> Aang got a great story arc. I don't know. I mean, Zuko came out of nowhere. Even for us, well, me playing it and even the other actors were like, who, what's going on? Like, who, who is this guy? Like, what's going on? He's got legs and he's going. going. Yeah, it was great. Like the Zuko yeah. Uncle Iro team up was just amazing. It was like arrogance and ignorance meets, you know, wise and funny. Funny, fun, you know. It's like great. that. And yeah. the original Iro Mako who passed away during uh, I think book two. Oh. Uh, he played my uncle or my father several times in my career. So he was he was really like Uncle Iro to me. He he knew me since I was twelve. He played my uncle in a movie called perfect weapon and, and can throughout my career so he's someone that I got to see as I grew up to give me and he's a prolific he's one of the most amazing Asian American actors out there so he was able to give me advice and kind of had an eye on me throughout my whole career so oh, wow. it's special it's a special project yeah uh, have we got a twitch question mm -hmm. this next one's from STS 2884 which character in League of Legends do you want to voice oh. 
Ooh, I do want to voice the character. I talked to those guys too. Problem is, it's non-union over there at Riot, but who knows? We'll see what happens. Oh, okay. uh, I don't know. I mean, I'd like to voice a new character. I mean, I main, I main ADC, and like my two mains are like Jinx and Ash. Uh, you know, of course, there's some characters I think my voice would be good for, like Echo or uh, I want to do a Firebender though. You know, Brand. I don't know if my voice would be good for Brand, but I like Brand. Um, but I don't know, hopefully if they ever came out with a new character that's like Firebender-ish, um, I would definitely see if I can voice that. That'd be cool. But a cool thing about my main character, Jinx, I played it for a while, and then they came out with a skin uh, in Firecracker Jinx, which is Jake Long, the American Dragon skin, which oh, is cool. awesome. Wow. Little shout out, little shout out to my that. main. I think that's all the questions we've got for Bums Away, but we will be doing another one from Patreon and Twitch for watching and reading, which uh, is coming up actually right after this. So don't go anywhere, guys. Watching will be next. <laughs>